welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like as well and make sure you leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear if you are new as well and to all of my returning subscribers welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to do a quick little update of what's been going on, what I plan to do, and you know just kind of my plan going forth as far as sort of things that I am recognizing. <laughs> there goes Ivy into her window. That is where she is pretty much all of the time during the day um, when I am working down here. That's her little perch. She loves watching the other cats and the birds outside. Um, but I wanted to give you a little update on where I am at. So this week, once again, I did not have a loss of anything because I did eat the Chinese food when we were out for that movie night when we went and seen Top Gun. Um, however, I feel like I'm going to go back to basics and I'm going to think about a lot of the things that I was eating when I first started my weight loss journey. And that was with a lot of like the same meals. I've said before, I have no issues eating the same meals over and over again. And I actually prefer it because I have less waste. And also it's just my macros, you know, you know that you're hitting your macros if you're eating the same thing and I do not get sick of the meals. So I am going to start doing that as well. I will still be recording in the month of June. I'm really gonna try to continue it for the whole month with recording and uploading a video every day. I did get a lot of positive feedback that you do enjoy it. So I am going to continue on and I will be able to share some of my meals because I know you guys love what I eat in a day as well. So I will be sharing some videos like that as well as a meal prep video. You will be seeing that this week and I plan on taking you shopping with me as well to do a little keto grocery haul as well this week because I did get those requests because the month of June, I want to do videos that you want to see. So that was the feedback that I got. If you have any more suggestions on what you would like to see, please let me know down in the comments. I'm literally trying to make all the videos out of the suggestions that I get in the comments. And I am going to start doing that again because there was a lot of meals that I used to make that I absolutely loved and that I ate on repeat. So one of those was my breakfast tacos. I have shared that recipe in my YouTube um, channel and I also have it in my keto ebook. So I do have a keto ebook for sale if anybody is interested. The link is always down in the description. It has um, breakfast ideas, supper ideas, as well as dessert ideas as well too in that ebook. But um, that, those breakfast tacos that I make are so good and I used to eat them on repeat all the time between that and I also used to make a breakfast bowl which I also have for sale in um it's also included in the ebook as well and those were staples for me I literally ate them every day of the week and I never got sick of them and they were perfect macros they were filling they were clean keto and I really want to start implementing that again I believe and I also want to start making the things that I used to make when I first started keto because I actually started my weight loss channel once I hit my goal weight. So unfortunately, I don't have videos that I can go back on. But um, now that I have had a regain, I can definitely resort back to the videos that I'm doing now and what works and what hasn't been working. And I can learn from that. And that's what you know, this journey is about is learning things along the way of what works um, better for your body. Every, every body is different. I always explain that. And what causes me inflammation might not cause you inflammation. One thing a lot of people were saying was dairy. And I had dairy and have had dairy throughout my whole entire journey. I, I have never cut down my dairy. I've never taken out of my keto diet and that has never affected me in a negative way. And I really don't think that dairy is the problem because I used to have keto chow with heavy whipping cream and I add a quarter of a cup of keto chow 
to my keto chow when I make it with water. And you know what, that has never caused me any issues or inflammation or anything. So I wanna start implementing keto chow number one because I was using that from the beginning of my journey because it was quick and easy. I could prep it and it was filling. So that's kind of my goal was to include some keto chow once again and implement some of the meals that I had all the time while I was on, like when I first started keto and I wanna start implementing those again. So hopefully you will be interested in that. It's going to be somewhat basic because I feel when I first started keto, I was learning and I learned along the way, but there was also meals that I created that I loved and ate every day. So like the crustless um, pizza, I used to make that all the time. It was very filling and I enjoyed it. So I also can implement that with the protein sparing modified fast crust. I don't think I want to implement any protein sparing modified fast days quite yet. I really want to get a hold of like my keto days and my macros and my meals with keto first. Like I had mentioned last week is I don't want to go and change a whole bunch of things right now. I really want to, you know, dial in on my keto and really work on that and kind of, you know, I don't want to say start over again, but it, it kind of is. It really is going back to basics and just starting over again in order to lose this regain because summer is coming and I definitely want to, you know, look and feel my best and start exercising again. Like I had mentioned, I have been walking with Aries, um, but I want to work my way up to definitely five days a week with that as well. And, you know, just all of those things equal success. And I know I know that it does. And especially when you go through regain or gaining weight back, you can kind of reflect on what has worked and what hasn't. And the great thing is you have that knowledge that you can resort back to on what worked and what didn't work, right? And to switch it, to kind of eliminate the things that weren't working and to bring back the things that were working. So, um, you know, I go back and forth uh, on, on my videos because I'm still trying to figure this out and adapt to working at home. I'm sitting a lot more, you know, right now I'm in my office. I literally, I sit way more often than I used to when I was working because I find myself, I just get carried away with work. And, you know, I definitely don't get up and walk around and things like that, like I used to in the store. So that has been a major change. There's been a lot of changes um, for myself, like I'd mentioned, but, um, that is going to be my plan going forward. So hopefully you'll be interested in the videos that I will be sharing for the rest of the month. I will be sharing a lot of recipes and meals that I used to eat in order when I lost my initial weight. And going back to that, I'm gonna be doing my weigh-ins and just be a little bit more diligent and setting up a, a new routine in a sense. I know I've talked about routine and trying to find that routine, but I really, I need to get serious about it as far as consciously like setting an alarm on my phone when it is lunchtime, setting an alarm, you know, maybe in the mornings and things like that, just so that I get myself on a little bit of a better routine. Cause that's how I work. I work best when I have a routine. I love routine and since I'm not working at my physical job anymore, um, I feel like all of the routine is just kind of thrown out the window. I'm not meal prepping as much as I was. I'm not planning my meals as much as I was because I'm at home. So I can kind of have, you know, make whatever because I'm at home. I can meal plan and just eat whatever because I'm at home. Before I was actually planning my meals out on paper and with a pen and figuring out because I had to be prepared in order to take my lunch to work because I wasn't home at all during those eight hours, right? And now I, I don't do that. And I've always stressed how important meal planning and meal prepping is. So you will see meal prepping and some grocery hauls as well too. And hopefully I can keep this up and you know, I'm just kind of adapting 
and learning from it and starting out a new routine and kind of starting from scratch. Honestly, like I'm at the point where I feel like I am starting over because I do have regain to lose and it, it is. It's almost like just starting over, you know, once again, I have 25 pounds that I need to lose and a lot of you watching, you know, as well, you will have 20 pounds to lose or 15 pounds to lose. And so I feel like I'm just kind of starting all over again and I do have the knowledge and the experience to know what to do. And it's just to kind of execute that, right? So that is my plan. So thank you so much for sticking with me and for liking all of the videos. Please make sure that you're watching all of the ads in my videos. It definitely helps my channel as well. Make sure you give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. Don't forget to hit that subscription and also that notification bell. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.